I. 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 I am. I am. I am. We are part of Bulldog Hockey. Hockey game days, uh, just the amount of work that goes on to putting on a, a first class experience for the fans uh, in terms of preparation, uh, setting up the facility, the ice, uh, and after the game, uh, making sure that they can get in and out safely and enjoy the experience while they're here. This place runs flawlessly, game in and game out, and there's so many different positions. During the week, we do all of our pre-sales. Um, generally sell quite a few for games, especially the more of the premium games like the Michigan, Michigan State and the Western. When day of game gets here, we basically just print the will call tickets, um, get the ticket list from the coaches. We put the tickets with people with the last names basically so they can sit together. We are open at 5.45 if game start at 7. We do have two people on register, two people getting drinks and then there's two people in the back doing prep. And so that's like the biggest thing is like making sure that we have everything that we need so we don't have to run back and forth during the game or during intermissions. You know, we sell all types of different sporting, you know, primarily sports apparel for all the, the Fair State teams. So a lot of our pullovers uh, and, our, and our hoodies are very popular, uh, especially with the cold and when, when hockey season rolls around. We do a lot of uh, restocking, ordering, and then we prep for the weekend. So we're, we're always busy, you know, from probably 6 o'clock until game time at 7 and then uh, in between periods we're, we're really busy. I think the band um, affects the crowd the most when we play popular songs. It takes a lot more practice than people think. It involves quite a bit of practice. There's both Sundays and Thursday nights we practice for an hour. It takes an extreme amount of focus during every rehearsal to get what we need to get done. Uh, the reason it's called the Zamboni is pretty much that's the company that makes the machine. We want to make sure that we got a good blade on it so it cuts the ice nice. And then we lay down a sheet of water and that makes it nice and smooth. You don't want to flood the corners, but you want to land off in the middle of the ice where you know, you're, you're keeping your depth. Our auger system shoots it up into the bin, which is the big thing on the front of it. And we just dump it into a hot water pit and it melts it all away. My name is uh, Bob Boyce. I'm a CPA in Big Rapids. I'm the head of off-ice officials for the CCHA at Ferris State. I get there about almost two hours before game time, make sure that uh, when things are operational, make sure all the people show up on time. What the CCHA does is they assign us games um, for all the teams and the universities that are part of the conference. So uh, we get a schedule and every weekend we go out to the different universities and we officiate the hockey games. Once we get here, uh, we warm up. Uh, we generally like to take a run or ride a bike um, to warm our bodies up, uh, make sure that we get it in a good stretch. And then we'll come together as a team, we'll walk through any of the rules that we need to discuss, talk about the two teams that are playing that evening, uh, and to get ourselves both physically and mentally prepared to officiate the hockey game. Come into the rink on game day. I normally get here around noon, uh, 12 o'clock p.m. here, and I get into the rink and I hook up all our video highlight information or systems. I hook up my audio mixer and the laptops and the TV monitors and make sure everything sets. And that takes me until about 1 or 2 o'clock. We go live with the, the Ferris State Hockey pregame show at 6.30 p.m. This guy over here to my right, he's the man when it comes to that, the mixer, getting into computers, getting interviews. I'll come to the rink, I'll get the rosters, I'll look at stats and all those things and be ready for my part of the job. And when it comes to setting up all the equipment, cameras up in the press, all those little things as well. Basically anything uh, that needs done around here, we do. We help out with customers, we direct them where they need to go. I, I really think it's a great working environment. I mean, it's, it's a fun place to be. I mean, the general atmosphere here, everybody's nice, everybody's here for a good time, and we just kind of help facilitate that. Because it truly is a team work, and we're all, we all are a family here in Big Rapids. 